We continue our discussion of limits in higher dimensions, and in this video we talk about switching to polar coordinates. So if you think the limit exists, but cannot find the limit, try switching to polar coordinates to get a path-independent limit. Remember, in the last video we saw that you could try to use a two-path approach to show that a limit does not exist, but what if you can't prove that it exists another way, but you think that it actually does? Then our two-path approach won't help us, um, so what we can try is switching to polar. This method works especially well when x, y is going to 0, 0. So remember our polar um, to Cartesian identities, x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and tangent of theta equals y over x. Now probably the, the most handy of these is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So what that tells me is that anytime I have an x squared plus y squared in my function, and I can't show that the, the limit exists some other way, I might consider switching to polar. And notice that because x squared plus y squared equals r squared, if x, y is going to 0, 0, then r must be going to 0 also, regardless of the angle. So here's our example. The limit as x, y approaches 0, 0 of 5x squared plus 5y squared over 2x. Now notice that if I plug in the point, it's 0, 0, and I cannot simplify, so I try polar. And notice that x, y is going to 0, 0, so r goes to 0 since r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And now I just, I just switch to polar using my polar identities. So this is the limit as r goes to 0, and if I factor a 5 out of the numerator, I get 5 times x squared plus y squared. So that's equivalent to 5r squared over 2r cosine theta. Now the r on the bottom cancels one of the r factors in the numerator. And this is equal to the limit as r goes to 0 of 5r over 2 cosine theta. And notice that r is going to 0, and this doesn't matter what the angle is. So it's independent of theta. All I care about is r. So I can plug in my 0 for r, and I get 5 times 0 over 2 cosine theta, which is just 0, because 0 over um, any other number is 0. So oftentimes when you're doing your switch to polar, um, your r will be approaching 0, and usually your limit will end up approaching 0 as well.